From bioengineering to gene editing, cybersecurity, 5G and much more, the future is very much under the spotlight at the 40th annual Gulf Information Technology Exhibition here in Dubai. It's the only major tech event to have gone ahead this year with over 1,200 exhibitors from 60 countries. Let's check it out. These incredibly lifelike humanoids are called mesmer bots, designed by engineered arts. With the ability to sense body language and even mood, they have uncanny powers of interaction. I am a robot. And what is your purpose? What, why do you exist? That is a very deep and philosophical question, James. Why do you exist? <laughs> Also present were some world-famous cybersecurity experts. Notorious hacker Pavlos Holman has helped build spaceships, invented a machine to suppress hurricanes, and developed cryptocurrencies as far back as the 1990s. The economic value is in corporations and the computers they run. That's the battlefield of the future. We live in a world with full-scale economic warfare in cybersecurity, in, in cyber warfare, right? And it's, I'm not trying to scare you, I'm just saying that's the reality. You lose the game if you don't play. When you have an increase in people staying home and not knowing how to generate revenue, whether it's illegal or otherwise, so the scammers have been sort of upping their game and getting more and more creative. From a social engineering, phishing, targeting users to trick them, that has increased by quite a lot. Ransomware is going up, and it's harder to defend a company when your company is now spread out all over the place and everyone's working on VPNs and there's a lot less interactions and a lot less communication and central management of anything because no one's central anymore. We call it the border. So the border of a company is now almost gone. The pandemic has led to unprecedented adoption and reliance on new technologies and innovations in healthcare in particular were the subject of intense scrutiny at this year's JTEX. There was increase of the bit of the telemedicine services because before people would move to the hospitals and then make appointments with the doctors and see them. By this time around, they would not move, there were lockdowns, so there was a bit of adopting to the technology. So this has really changed and then people are adopting to it. So this is a connected uh, health at home uh, solution, uh, which is a data orchestration platform that pulls in data from different sensors around the home. Uh, and integrates with some of uh, our uh, most innovative solutions like telemedicine. So this is uh, a glucometer, right, which captures your blood sugar levels, uh, and then that is in real time transmitted to the dashboard. This is a pulse oximeter, uh, oxygen saturation in the blood, and uh, a lot of relevance in, in the times of COVID. So ultimately this is integrated with uh, an electronic medical record system of a hospital. So if it's showing the prompting the physician that, look, there is an irregular heart rhythm for a certain patient, the physician might call the patient for a visit or maybe send an ambulance. An ambulance. Certain innovations here have the power to save lives, but others shouldn't fall into the wrong hands. What concerns me is human decision making, <laughs> right? It's still up to us to decide what we care about what world we want to build, and to use these technologies to help us create that future. So, you know, we have to get really clear about our values. You know, what do we care about? What world are we trying to create? And what technologies could help us get there?